Hello there everyone. Um, so what I wanted to do is pretty much run through what I plan to have done over the course of the next month or so uh, so that you all know what type of co content and focus that I actually have for the Let's Learn Email project. Um, so if there's any topics that I do not list here um, that you are interested in or maybe you need for like a course or maybe you want a refresher or maybe I wasn't able to explain something in one of my already current videos or materials uh, definitely know in the comments below or reach out to me via email or discord and I'll definitely try to work out something with you. Um, so the first thing that I definitely want to focus on is finishing my differential calculus series uh, that I had been working on over the past several months. Um, namely uh, creating videos that sort of summarize limits, derivatives, and concepts. This will be extremely useful for those of you who are say finishing calculus 1, going into a calculus 2 class, um, and, or maybe you just want to brush up on your basic calculus concepts, uh, this will definitely be useful. And also a couple videos on how to find derivatives of parametric and polar functions. This is extremely useful, maybe not introduced until maybe calculus 3 or the end of calculus 2, uh, but overall are uh, neat concepts to sort of discuss. In terms of integral calculus, um, I have been pretty much focusing on that for the past uh, maybe two or three months. And I've pretty much finished all of the standard Calculus 2 concepts. I want to definitely add a couple extra videos associated to the Riemann zeta function and the Catalan's constant, um, which are pretty much side topics, but they give you sort of extra ways to evaluate particular types of definite and improper integrals, as well as some infinite series uh, that may be useful in some topics. And I also want to uh, start a discussion on some infinite products, which then can lead into more um, interesting identities associated to say the gamma function or the digamma function or the Euler reflection formula. Um, so that's definitely some things that I do plan on covering over the next month or so uh, in terms of integral calculus. Differential equation series, differential equation series I haven't really been focusing on that much over the past <clears throat> um, couple of months, um, mainly because I've been focusing on topics for which people have been requesting which mostly are in the differential and integral calculus realm. But I definitely want to get back into differential equations um, because it's definitely a field of mine that I definitely love talking about. Um, so I so pretty much want to uh, continue where I left off in the series uh, by considering different ways of solving higher order equations such as, such as undetermined coefficients and variations of parameters and also discuss some special differential equations and their solutions such as the Bessel function, the Aries function, the Legendre differential equation, and all these other special differential equations whose solutions actually have a variety of applications in physics, chemistry, biology, and other fields as well. Um, so in addition to that, uh, the pre-calculus I've definitely been focusing on over the past few weeks since I've had the time um, because I've noticed that a lot of people are definitely missing some of their basic mathematical concepts especially when they're trying to figure out some problems and say differential calculus or statistics. Um, so I've been pretty much uh, finishing up my linear uh, equations, linear inequalities, and linear systems uh, discussions over the past couple of days. And over the course of the next couple of weeks, I definitely want to um, compile resources associated to absolute value, quadratic, and polynomial functions, and all of the different variations that are associated with them. And of course, if I have the time, I'll continue on with that discussion talk about, um, say, rational functions, exponential functions, and logarithmic functions, and all the things associated with that. So definitely a long discussion that can occur uh, there. Uh, on top of that, something I had started a couple months ago was my real analysis series, but I've definitely been too busy. Real analysis is a little bit more of a dense series, um, and every, more, more statements have a little bit more thought that puts into them. Uh, so the speed for which I can produce these videos is actually a little bit more slower than something that's a little bit more easier, more uh, based on calculations like pre-calculus or something like that. Reanalysis is a little bit more of a theory-based uh, series, um, which takes a little bit more time. But I definitely want plan to uh, finish off my discussion of the well-ordering principle, Zorn's lemma, and the axiom of choice, and the equivalence of those three theorems and also talk about some basic ideas such as mathematical induction, the Archimedean property, and uh, the idea of sets being countable versus uncountable, um, and all the things associated with that. 
Um, in addition to these five series, which I've pretty much been focusing on over the course since I've uh, first started the Let's Learn Nemo project, I definitely want to uh, include some introductory videos uh, for abstract algebra and multivariable calculus. So for abstract algebra, I definitely want to start talking about um, basic binary operations on sets, uh, which can then lead into the discussion of groups and abelian groups. Um, for now, that's all I plan to focus on over the course of the next month. And in terms of multivariable calculus, the idea of surfaces in three dimensions, um, how to identify particular graphs. Like typically we know like X squared and absolute value of X in one dimension. Uh, but being able to recognize surfaces in three dimensions also will be useful. And also briefly talk about limits in three dimensions as well, which is a very um, peculiar but interesting topic. Um, but abstract algebra and multivariable calculus will be my next two main series that I will be focusing on. Uh, in addition to these two, I'll definitely be adding uh, fractional calculus videos as I see necessary or if people demand them. I'll definitely continue that series as well. Um, so modifications. Statistics was my very first series that I had completed. Um, so I'll definitely be remodeling and restructuring the first, say, 14 videos. I'll be compressing them down into a series of eight videos. They'll be a little bit more in-depth, cover a little bit more material, but definitely be a, a lot more nicer than my current introductory stat videos. Um, so that's definitely going to be something that I will have done within the next two to three weeks. Um, so that's pretty much the things that I do plan to have completed by the end of the next, um, say, six weeks or so. Um, so if you want to just practice some random math, be sure to join my Facebook learning group. Um, you can find it at facebook.com slash groups slash let's learn dot team. Or you can just search it by looking up mathematics colon learning and mastering. Um, Joining that group and interacting uh, definitely is useful. I started a point and badge system, which is going to eventually end up in, which is going to build into mentoring and those types of things. And also, if you haven't already, please follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Following and subscribing and joining to my Facebook group definitely helps me out in a lot of ways. And it's definitely a way that keeps me going, keeps me motivated uh, to produce more and more videos every day. Because as most of you already know, I do not get paid for any of this. Most of this is volunteer and driven by passion of teaching and my love for mathematics. Um, so definitely subscribing will definitely help me out. And it, you know, it uh, allows you to get in touch with me so that if you need particular math topics discussed, um, then I'll know how uh, to make them. Also, if you have any suggestions on how I maybe could make my videos a little bit more exciting or interesting, I know a couple other channels such as Blue Pit Red Pen and uh, other ones like that. Um, like 3 Blue 1 Brown, for example, has amazing math videos for sure. Um, but they take several hours to make because it you know requires some animations. Um, but if there's any simple things that I definitely could do to make my videos more interesting to you, um, aside from making my handwriting a little bit nicer, I'm still getting used to uh, writing on a uh, glass tablet. It's definitely a little bit more different than writing on paper or a board. Uh, but if there's any things that I can definitely help do to help you understand or be more uh, involved in learning math or something, uh, just please let me know. Uh, and if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, enjoy.